Okay, welcome to the New London HR Podcast. We've got Leon Williamson on the phone. Leon's one of our candidates that we worked with in the past, who's actually been on our London Broker Mentorship. Uh, Leon, do you want to tell yourself or tell the audience a little bit about yourself? Yes, most definitely. Uh, So, obviously, I came from the Army. I've served six years, uh, tours include, obviously, Afghanistan and Iraq. So after six years service, I felt like I needed to move on with my life. Um, I wasn't sure where to go, so I got in contact with mine at New London HR. Um, it told me about, obviously, what they do, what they can offer, obviously, regarding the, uh, the brokerage course I, I um, did online myself. <laughs> and they got me a new role uh, down in the city of London, and I'm very much happy with this role and cracking on with it so yeah right. it's all been it's all been going well good good so the the actual london broker training you did the six week uh, mentorship i think we got you an interview within sort of two to three weeks if i remember correctly yeah three weeks we got so yeah three weeks fantastic great and obviously we've we've asked you beforehand uh, not to mention the client name obviously we don't want to mention too much information about the client we placed you with uh due to you know client information but do you want to tell the audience a little bit about what your day today is at the moment what you do how you're finding the role uh, just so obviously any job seekers that we are about to speak to will know what it really takes to be good at what you do yeah most definitely obviously i'm working in the fx market it's, it is um very fast-paced market i mean each currency pair moves over eighteen thousand pounds a day um, so to obviously attain new business for the, for the company I'm now working with is so obviously um, gain access to uh, a lot of decision makers who import or export their goods. Obviously bringing on about what we do at my company and how I can add value to their business, and obviously get a bit of know about them and obviously build a pipeline and obviously you know just business development. Great, fantastic. So you speak to a lot of decision makers, you do a lot of cold calling, you're generating your own leads as I understand it, right? Yeah, most definitely. Generating my leads is, is vital. They don't provide us with leads. It's mm. all down to ourselves to do, uh, do the nitty gritty, which is good. And um, yeah, so the cold calling yeah. effort, you're making good 50, 100 calls a day. Yeah. And out of them, you're getting, good, you're getting a good 20 decent conversations going to warm to hot leads by two weeks. Mm, good, fantastic. And in terms of, let's say, what you've learned from the London Broker Training, what do you feel that is really transferable from the mentorship it's, itself into this role? Where do you feel that that's helped you the most? I think it's taught me a lot about resilience. I mean, you don't, you speak to guys and, and, and girls who obviously are not interested in, in your services or what you've got to bring to the table. So it, it explains that in the, in the package you guys provide us. Um, obviously, that, adding to that, it's the objection handling I found most useful from that course because, like I said yourself, um, well, myself, you get people out there who fire objections which you left, right and centre and being able to overcome them objections, you can bring something to the table and add value to their businesses. Mm-hmm. Yeah, great, fantastic. And just so the audience knows, the objection handling part is when you speak to a client and then they say, look, Leon, uh, not really interested or uh, I've got someone else to speak to, the objection handling aspect is actually taking control of that conversation, going through that and actually then being able to pitch them, right? Yeah, most definitely. It's a massive, massive bit of uh, part of the program. I mean, personally, I feel there should be some more aspect added to that. Yep. Because um, obviously I'm still working with guys. Obviously, been in the, been in the business now for a few years, and obviously they, they still um, struggle themselves with with a few objections. So some, I think sometimes that could be worked upon. Yeah, of course. Um, but over, but overall, no, I found it very, very, very helpful. Great. I'm glad glad to hear that. Do you want to tell uh, the audience a little bit about what you would recommend for them? I mean, do, would you recommend they do more research? Would you recommend they do the mentorship or even add other things to, to add on? Or I think, yeah, the, the, the brokerage course itself, definitely you get yourself uh, amongst it, get your heading into it. Um, for yourself, I, I think for people out there who do want to get into uh, obviously the finance, finance world, Research your market you want to go into. If it's FX, you, you research it and, and do your further reading. If it's, if it's derivatives, obviously get into that and, and 
it's basically what I get is further research or product. Mm. Good, definitely good advice. Definitely good advice. Um, do you want to tell the audience a little bit about your uh, experience before FX, just so they understand what what sort of experience you've had beforehand, uh, how transferable you found that was, and just so they understand a little bit more about you, Leon. Yeah, so it's definitely so. In my past, I have no sales background whatsoever. I've, I've came to this. I've literally been thrown the deep end. I mean, so I also spent six years in the infantry, and obviously, like, so for that myself, I built up resilience. I mean, I'm a good. Uh, I mean, character building. I mean, I'm overall a hard working kind of guy. The, the foundations were there for uh, a strong work ethic. Obviously, even before that, I was working. Before the I was working for a company yep. that was manufacturing Colgate cardboard, and I think they built the foundations of my strong work ethic. I just carry it, and the army's reinforced that. Yeah. And obviously, with the cold calling now, and obviously build, uh, building, add, adding value to people's businesses, mm-hmm. it's like you can't do that all the time because most businesses have obviously got something set up or something set up in place, or they're not interested. So to keep Obviously, to keep going on them phones all day, you need a lot of resilience there and a solid work effort. And, and just, if you get a bad call, forget about it and crack on with your next call. Yeah, good and, advice. And my, my, my bit of advice is, is you can take something away from each call you do. Yeah, and you can keep learning, keep building on your skill set and eventually be better every single day, right? Yeah, most definitely. Like I said, each phone call, you, you learn something. Yeah, exactly right, exactly right. Well, Leon, look, thank you so much for doing this podcast for us. Um, look, we'll, we'll be able to uh, tell people to find you on LinkedIn. So Leon Williamson on LinkedIn. If you guys have any questions for this individual, add him on LinkedIn, fire him a message. Not too many. Obviously, he's a busy guy and he's still obviously do very well in, in his new role. Um, but Leon, thank you so much, buddy, for that. And uh, we'll uh, we'll give you a call soon. No dramas, Milo. <laughs>